our seventh and final demonstration, we are going to uh, analyze technical language uh, or legal language. So we're going to use the AI tool to uh, understand um, essentially a lease agreement. I copied and pasted this as a capital leased agreement from the internet. Um, I don't think it's real, but it does the trick. Um, so the first thing I did is, you know, I took uh, often when we're analyzing for accounting or finance purposes, we are reading uh, and it could be a lease agreement. It could be uh, terms of engagement. It could be transfer payment agreement. It could be any type of agreement where, you know, you have to summarize it. You have to understand it. You have to brief people on it. Um, but really you have to analyze it for the risks and the obligations. And um, uh, so what I'm doing here is I'm sort of copying pasting sections and into the AI and having a conversation with it, really asking it to explain things to me. So can you explain in plain language what the obligations are for repair? Here is the tax firm legal agreement. I just copied and pasted these obligations. And if you go here, the, the agreement lays out the responsibilities for both landlord and tenant. Um, and it sort of says landlord is responsible for defects, deficiencies, et cetera. Tenant is responsible for maintaining the premises, wear and tear, et cetera. So it does a good job of summarizing there. And if you kind of give it bite-sized uh, sections, it'll it'll um, give you responses to that. Um, now, the next section, this often happens, and it might happen in different contexts. Of course, like we, we do begin to specialize, and we kind of know what all the language means, even if it's not our wheelhouse. But in case you encounter things and you just need to know, oh, well, tenants covenant, what does that mean? You know, and again, in plain language, I copied, pasted it, and it'll give me an answer here. Uh, it outlines the obligations of the tenant, of me. So in this arrangement, I have it in concise bullet points, exactly what my obligations are under the agreement. Um, again, like indemnity is another sort of, well, what does that mean? Um, okay, well, this, set, this section says that uh, the tenant will be responsible for any injuries or damages that happen to people while leased, um, unless the damage was caused by the landlord's own intentional acts or serious mistakes. Again, it's giving it to you in plain language. It doesn't use more uh, legal language to explain things like negligence or et cetera, which is what often happens within the context of the legal agreement. It'll give you an enhanced understanding and you can really, um, you know, have a conversation with it about a long agreement, any type of agreement, and you could talk to it about the terms and you can ask it, you know, are what are um, the cash flows or what are the obligations and all these different types of things that for finance and accounting, we often need those details and we need to summarize them and we need to assess risks, et cetera. So this is a really important tool. And, um, you know, we do live in sort of uh, this legal framework where everything is crystallized in written word. And this is excellent at analyzing all types of technical things, accounting things, uh, accounting technicals, as well as legal technicals. So um, that's kind of how I've thought about using um, this for analysis. But um, as this tool rolls out, as people start using it, I'm sure there's going to be many, many more uh, important use uses for it and and ways to kind of shortcuts to kind of do our work more efficiently.